So I have to say I'm a bit curious about this one. Azaro Chrome Eau de Parfum. <laughs> you know, it's so funny to see this because it literally just happened with YSL Loam Eau de Parfum. We're talking a couple fragrance lines here that have tons and tons of flankers that have been released over the past 10 plus years. And for Loam, we just now got a Loam Eau de Parfum. And now for the Chrome line, which is also very expansive, we just now got an Eau de Parfum. I mean, they've done United, they've done Extreme, they've done all the summer editions and uh, a whole bunch of other ones I'm missing, Chrome Legend, a and they never did an EDP until now. So when you see something like this, you expect it to be great. I'm expecting greatness. I don't know if we're gonna get it, but we're gonna find out. You guys wanna get on on the grand unveiling here? Lifting it up by the cap, which is never a good idea, but luckily they snapped these on, so that's good. Here we go, Azaro Chrome EDP. Nice, attractive gradient from a deep blue to just straight up glass. Um, and we take a look at the original Chrome bottle. Obviously this one is just gigantic and I will never even use any of this probably, but it was a good deal. So, you know, they have some similarities here. This one almost looks closer to like a Chrome Extreme or something along those lines, right? because the bottle of the original Chrome has a slight blue, light blue tint to it. As you can see over here, it's not the juice itself, should I even say juice, but I do believe it's the bottle. Or maybe it is the juice. Yeah, it might actually be. I think it is. It is, yeah. The juice has a slightly blue tint. The juice on this appears to be clear with a blue gradient. So, let's go ahead and get this one on skin. We're gonna go over it, tell you how it smells what it compares to, if I think it's gonna be worth picking up once it hits here in the US. Nice atomizer on this one as well. Uh, once it does hit, it'll be an affordable one, so I'll try to keep that in mind as I'm judging it as well, like the whole Chrome line. They're basically cheapies at this point. So here we go. <laughs> you know what, and I have to say, I'm liking it better already than the original, and here's why. The original is so metallic and so sharp off the rip that it, to me, it's, the original is actually one of my least favorites, and I know hardcore Zaro Chrome lovers are gonna sacrifice me for that, but it really is, you know. Chrome Extreme is a beauty, Chrome United, great tea fragrance. Uh, there's a lot of great clone, Chrome flankers. Uh, the metallic nature of the original always put me off, but this one opens up very nice. Already, it's kind of reminding me of something, and that is of the new Dior Homme Sport 2021, which was released in 2022. How about that, right? But it has that going on because there's a citron, there's this nice woods going on underneath of that, kind of this, uh, you know, a little bit more of a mature take. Now, we do have some notes. We've got three, so Azaro hopped on the, uh, the trend here and did that three note breakdown thing. This is via Parfumo.net. Up top, we have Italian green, Mandarin orange, so uh, there you go. In the mid, we have French lavender, and in the base, we have pine. So realistically, that's kind of what you need to know, at least what I'm getting so far, is it does have a nice kind of orangish citrus top note. I think there's more than orange for me. It's kind of a bergamot as well, maybe even a grapefruit, uh, kind of a sour punch a little bit. Uh, again, talking about Dior Homme Sport, that one has that like lemony punch, and this kind of has a similarity there. Uh, but definitely some orange. Does have a nice aromatic lavender. I do think that this one is going to be primarily aromatic throughout the entirety of the scent here, so that's something pretty cool to see. And then it all rests on a nice woody base. Pine, I guess, would be a good way to describe it. Kind of has this outdoorsy, woodsy smell to it. Uh, I think it's nice, you know, very soon to tell, right? And I shouldn't be uh, making any promises here, but it does seem very multifaceted right off the bat. It doesn't seem flat. It doesn't seem two dimensional. And if I'm being honest, it doesn't really seem that cheap either. I mean, when you spray the original Chrome for the first time, it, it shows its price point. It really does. And I'm not busting on Chrome. Again, I think the line has a lot of great scents. I think they've come a long way from the original. Again, going back to Chrome Extreme, has a little bit of a ADG Profondo smell and the quality for the price is impeccable. 
So I think they've really kind of perfected their craft here of making some fragrances that are really, really solid and they end up being, you know, $30, $40 on discounters, which is crazy to think that one day later on in the year, this will end up around that price or maybe towards the end of the year by the time it gets down to that price. Hopefully it hits discounters. You can save a little bit by summertime. But I, I have to say, I really like it a lot so far. So here's Dior Homme Sport 2021. And while there's not a one-to-one a -one comparison, you know, again, we're comparing Dior to Azaro. This is going to be discounted down to about 80 probably, if even that, probably still 90 or so. Uh, Quality-wise, we're not comparing. And there is more richness to the Dior. But I'm telling you, like immediately, that's kind of what it felt like. You know, it has that aromatic kind of mature woodiness. It has that brightness also, that balance. And here's kind of how I view it. I view this kind of as a true eau de parfum a little bit, but I also see it as, you know, you wear the original Azaro Chrome when you're in your, you know, I guess, teens to early 20s, right? You're in college, you don't have a whole lot of money, right? You're going through school, maybe you have student loans, maybe you're you're just starting in your career, right? Don't have a bunch of disposable income to spend on a, a super expensive fragrance. But at the same time, Azaro Chrome, it does you well. It gets you good compliments. It's a good performer for you. You like it. Uh, at some point, you know, like, like anything, time goes on. You find yourself being 27, 28 years old. You're in a career. You've got a family. You've had a lot of accomplishments thus far. And you're into a different scent. That's kind of what the EDP smells like. You know, it's like a grown-up version of Chrome because as much as I can respect Chrome, the original, for what it is, it does still kind of have that more playful, relatively basic smell to it. And not in a bad way, but that's just kind of how it's presented. And when you smell the EDP, it smells polished. It smells well done. It's got a maturity. You know, it's aromatic. It kind of goes down that uh, more gentlemanly path, like a citrus aromatic, although not that old school smelling it's got a modernized twist but that's kind of how it is it's coming across you know stout on the skin so far i'm not expecting a beast mode scent but i think it's going to do well time will tell should have a review out by summertime hopefully and uh i have to say this is exceeding my expectations by a long shot for me, again, you know, when I see Chrome and then I just see, oh, EDP, I was expecting very similar to the original DNA, which I'm not the biggest fan of to begin with, uh, but we're getting a lot more here. The note breakdown, very simplistic, very stripped back. It, it may not look like much, but I would say once you can get your hands on this one, give it a shot, seriously. This might become one of my favorite Chrome flankers, you know. Uh, it would be hard to compete with Extreme, but it, this would be up there. Uh, for real. I mean, I like it a lot and I'm curious to see how this one develops. I think this one's going to be a big mass pleaser as well. Uh, maybe more for the mature crowd a little bit. Uh, it's not going to be quite as playful and summertime fun as something like Chrome Extreme, which has that Profondo thing going on. This is almost like for a summer night out when you want to get a bit more sophisticated, a bit more dressed up, that sort of thing. And that's when I would break out Chrome Extreme. And I already touched on this briefly there towards the beginning, but the quality is coming across very nice. It doesn't smell cheap. It doesn't smell like a, a $20 throwaway fragrance. I mean, that opening, it's got some punch. It has some vibrance. And I don't get an alcohol blast or anything like that. I don't get anything that smells rushed or, you know, like they just threw this one out into the world and said, okay, here's a chrome eau de parfum because we ran out of ideas. I think that this was actually relatively well executed. Again, I would have expected to have seen a Chrome EDP beforehand, but in this instance, I think it was worth the wait. So that's pretty much gonna do it for me. That was my first impressions, my first thoughts on Chrome Eau de Parfum. I was going into this one, not all that excited, and I came out of it actually being pretty pumped up. I'm curious to test this one more, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to wearing this one into summertime. Uh, while there are gonna be some other fragrances probably better for summer because they're brighter i still like to get i would like to get some heat on this one because i do think it would still be a good summertime scent maybe more so evenings that sort of thing i'm super pumped up i'd love to wear this one out on the boat out on the water love to wear this one out on some summer evening dinners with some friends and, not, and that sort of thing i think this could be a big hit like seriously once this one hits 
just, you know, $40 or so, kind of around the Chrome Extreme price point, I think this can seriously go crazy. Be on the lookout. That's going to do it for me. That's my first impressions on Chrome Extreme. Let me know what you think down below if you've tried it. Big fan myself so far, and I will have a full review out soon. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.